Hi, my name is Kumar Goswami. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Kaviza, a next generation BDI company. Now BDI, or Virtual Desktop Infrastructure, was designed to address the high costs of managing and securing traditional PCs. And BDI does this by virtualizing the PC and consolidating and running them centrally on servers. Unfortunately, current first-generation BDI provides these benefits, but at a huge upfront cost and high complexity. And having built out VDI solutions for customers, what I'd like to do today is show you why current first-generation VDI is so costly and so complex. And then what I'd like to do is share with you the Kavisa's uh, shared nothing. BDI architecture that slashes those costs and complexities and provides you a solution that's fast to implement, easy to administer, and scales with your needs. Now what I have here is a typical schematic of a current first generation BDI. As you can see, there's lots of moving parts, lots of things that you need to be able to generate virtual desktops. So let me walk you through it. First of all, you need compute servers. This is where the virtual PCs run. You've got management servers, a bevy of management servers um, that manage these virtual PCs and connect the user to a virtual PC. Now, if you're going to be consolidating all those PCs on this platform, you have to have high availability. And an easy way to get that, but an expensive way to get that, is to have high-speed interconnects from all these servers to some sort of a shared storage that contains all the state information. And for high throughput and performance, you want a shared storage typically should be a SAM. So as you can see, you've got some expensive infrastructure components, and this is what drives up the cost of BDI. Next, as you can see, there's lots of moving parts, and this is a custom build. So you have to have the expertise to put this together to make sure it's highly available, and then you need the expertise to manage it ongoing. And that's why the ongoing management cost with this is actually quite high as well. So overall, it's complex, and as I was saying, when something is complex, it only adds to more costs. So when we were doing this, we found that a typical virtual desktop would cost $2,000. So therefore, for 100 desktops, that was an upfront cost of $200,000. So as you can see, this is a high-end solution for those who have large budgets. For the rest of us, this is quite unattainable. And hence, Kaviza. So with Kaviza, what did we do? We started with a clean slate. And we did two things. One, we came up with an architecture that basically said, hey, we don't need all these components to be able to change virtual desktops. So it's an architecture that just requires a commodity server with direct attached storage and nothing else. So no more shared storage, no more high-speed interconnects. So we've already saved you a ton on infrastructure costs. That's number one. Number two, we took all that functionality, connection brokering, provisioning, generating pristine desktops on the fly, and put all that into a Kaviza virtual appliance. So now, if you want to create a Kaviza virtual desktop server, this is what you have to do. You bring in a commodity server with direct attached storage and a hypervisor. You load up Kaviza's virtual appliance, and voila, that's it. You've got everything you need to generate virtual desktops. Now, if you want high availability, you bring in a second server, point it at the first one, answer two questions, and now you have a high availability grid just like that, in minutes. Now, this is a modern architecture and scales like Google and Amazon. So if you want to scale this thing, you can add a third server, fourth server, fifth server, on demand, on the fly. And so you can actually have a production system up and running in hours with this kind of a solution. And the beauty of it is, you don't manage each and every one of these servers individually. Kaviza's management console provides you one logical view and makes it seem as though this is one logical server so it's very very easy to administer and everything is done under the hood. So as you can see we've slashed the, the, uh, the infrastructures. You just have a bunch of compute servers with direct attached storage and so we've reduced the infrastructure cost significantly. I told you that it's very easy to manage because everything's built, it's, everything's out of the box, there's nothing to design, and et cetera, et cetera. And the lingua franca is all about desktops and users. It's not about virtual servers, virtual machines, resource pools, and things of that sort. So it's easy to administer, and it scales with your needs. So with Kaviza's uh, solution, a virtual desktop costs around $400 to $500 per desktop. That's less than the cost of a traditional PC. So you get the benefits of VDI without the cost and without the complexities. 
And so for about 100 desktops, the upfront cost to you is about $40,000 or $50,000, significantly less than the $200,000 $200, upfront cost from current VDI. And again, as you can see, there's lots of components here, lots of moving parts, and a very simple architecture, um, an easy to manage architecture with Kaviza. What's not to like? So, if you get a minute, please go to www.kaviza.com. You can download a free trial version of a virtual appliance. I'm sure you have a commodity server somewhere. And you know, download it, install it, give it a go. Thanks.